Hi guys, welcome again. Thanks for stopping by. This is Healthy Alternative Kitchen and my name is Adora. Today we're going to be going through a special menu, an alternative to bread. You know bread is a bad corporate. So yes, we're going to be going through how to make a lovely recipe that you can use to replace your bread. So today we're going to be making sweet potato bread. It's lovely, it's filling, it's nutritious. So for our ingredients, we're going to be using uh, sweet potatoes. We have a uh, goat's milk here. You can use any milk of your choice. We've got egg, and we're going to be using a binding uh, ingredients. We're going to be using oats flour, which is quite healthy. We use baking powder, we're going to be using yeast, we're going to be using salt and we're going to be sweetening it up with our date sugar. For those of you following me, uh, I'll put a description below on how I make this date sugar. It's completely nutritious and healthy. So yeah, first of all what we're going to do today is I'm going to steam up the sweet potatoes. So I'm going to cut them up and start steaming. So just stay tuned. If you have a potato peeler, you can use that for your potatoes. I can't find mine. So I'm going to use my hand, um, use this method and get the feels of but watch your hands guys when doing this <laughs> so I'm just going to try and get all the peels out and I'll cut them into small bits so it will steam faster So potatoes is quite nutritious and it's got um, it contains uh, complex fat uh, carbohydrates it's quite good for your blood sugars for those of you who are suffering from diabetes potatoes potato sugar is quite good for you Yeah, so I'll just cut them up into small bits just to help it steam faster. up now I'll show you how I'm gonna steam it up right so to steam my sweet potatoes I've got water here in a saucepan boiling and I'm going to place my steamer over it and cover it up and that will help you know retain all the nutrients in the uh, potatoes if you steam your potato this way instead of cooking it directly into water so time to check my potatoes are done yes it's very soft now right our potatoes are well cooked now so what I'm going to be doing is just to try and mash it up into a paste If you have a potato masher, you can use that at this point. But the potato is soft enough, so I can use the um, spatula on it. Yeah. 
it's all mashed up now so we're going to put the rest of our ingredients I'll put my oats flour in I put about a quarter spoon of baking powder. I put half a teaspoon of yeast. Put in one egg. Just about a pinch of salt in there. I'm also going to put a bit of avocado oil. Just about one teaspoon we do. We'll put about a teaspoon of milk as well. Then we continue stirring together. Mm, that smells lovely already. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to add a bit of the big um, syrup into it but you don't have to because it's already you know as sweet as it can be but because of my kids I just use that to entice them so I put about a, te um, a teaspoon of beet syrup in it but you really don't have to because this is already as sweet as it can get yeah and that is done so what i'm going to do now is i've greased my pan already because i'm going to be making beef burger with it so i'm trying to see if i can get um a beef a burger consistency with this yeah so let me wash my hands Put a bit of oil in my hand so it can stop sticking. It's quite sticky, but that's fine. Yeah. Let's put that in. So I'm going to be baking this on about 150 um, gas mark for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just keep checking depending on your oven setting. Now I'm going to prepare our minced burger, our pate for the potato bread. So I've got my minced meat here. I'm going to add some. black pepper a bit of salt we'll mix together mix very well so that all the Spices to get into the uh, minced meat. Yeah, I've washed my hands and I'm going to form my minced meat into 
the bigger party. Just that way. Yeah. Set the side. Just roll into a ball. Gently tap on it. Try and even the sides. Yeah, and I'll heat up my pan now to fry it. Right, we're going to now get ready our beef. Put all of it in the saucepan with no oil on very low heat and let it just gently cook. Yeah, we got it. Very good. Well cooked now. Alrighty. Here we stand. Yes, yeah, so our potato bread is ready and our meat is ready as well. And I'm just gonna prepare a bit bigger with it. Yeah. Just gonna go ahead and Look at that. That's our potato red. And I'll put that on there. Put that on there. Yeah. 